Members of the 111th Congress, many of whom were not reelected two weeks ago, have returned to work. It's called a lame duck session. But with apologies to the Marx Brothers, why a duck? The term was first used in 18th century London to describe a stockbroker who could not pay his debts and was thus as powerless as a lame duck. It was first applied to American politicians in the mid-19th century and now commonly refers to those who have lost re-election or are not running again but are still in office, their power greatly reduced. Originally, the Constitution required Congress to meet once a year in December. With elections held in November, but the new Congress not sworn in until March, that meant a mandatory lame duck session. That changed in 1933 when the 20th Amendment said Congress must meet and the new members take office on the same day, January 3rd, making it all just ducky. That's a page from my notebook. I'm Katie Couric, CBS News.